Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about do's and don'ts during pregnancy. This is me sharing my own experience, what I have gone through, what I am going through right now. And I thought, okay, I need to share it to mom-to-be out there or pregnant women out there, you know, mom-to-be pregnant women, whichever one. <laughs> so this is me sharing my experience with my second pregnancy. Okay, and the reason why I call these do's and don'ts is that because when I was pregnant with my first child, you know, I was all over the top, you know, the experience, and you know, as a first time mom, you want everything to be top notch, you want everything to be all over the, you want, you want to research everything, you want to go on all over social media, or even to search on Google, what is the best this, what is the best that, what is the best, you know, so many things that, and you want to go on YouTube and start watching video, or oh, things I need to buy for my baby, things I need to, and you will see a bunch and list of things that some people will talk about, and some people will still advise you, don't get this, don't get that, and some will list so many things. Do you know what I find out? Oh my God. My first pregnancy, honestly, I overdo it. Let me just use that statement. I overdo it, because... It's my first pregnancy and I know we all do it like, okay, this is my first child. I want everything to be perfect. I want everything to be intact. I want my baby to have everything. But at the end of the day, most of them turn to waste for me. Yes, they turn to waste because I end up not using it and I end up giving it to charity. I end up, that is what happened. Because during my first pregnancy, you know, I go online and I start looking at okay, list of things I need to buy. I even download an article from Mother Care. They list so many things, including what needs to go in your hospital bag. You know, which I'll be sharing what goes in my hospital bag in a later video for you guys. So I end up going through those lists and I end up ticking them that, okay, I've got this, I've got that. And I was like, I bought a lot of things, so many clothes. At the end of the day, my daughter actually... I would grow so many of the clothes within a month. She didn't, she didn't even wear most of them because most of that we're home. We're not going anywhere. We're just indoor. I'm still trying to recover from the pregnancy and taking care of my little girl. You know, at the end of the day, they are wasted. So the only thing I found that I said, okay, these are my dues, and which I am doing right now with my second pregnancy is that I'm not overdoing it. I'm not bothering buying too much of like outfits thinking, okay, I have to buy an outfit, you know, the baby has to, no, I'm not doing that. All I am doing is, okay, I'm just going to get, okay, three pair of outfits, okay. And that three pair of outfits, just in case we have any impromptu outing that the baby can wear. The most important thing I found that is essential is the bodysuit, the sleep suit, and all the necessary bedding items. You know, the socks, the hat, you know, the blanket, you know, also those ones are essential. But buying outfits, you know, is a total waste. It is a total waste because at the end of the day, the baby will grow it. And when you're buying the bodysuit and the sleep suit, I remember with my first child, I end up buying like a zero to three month. Honestly, most baby I'll grow this within a few weeks. Some baby doesn't even wear them because it depends on the baby weight. So I would advise when you're buying maybe bodysuit, sleep suit for them, ensure you go maybe from three months to six months upward or nine months, depends you know, on you. But as for me, I will buy a little bit of three to six months for my second child. And then the rest will be, you know, nine to, you know, three to six months. Then the rest is going to be six to nine months, you know, because they are growing so, so quick. And at the end of the day, you're going to dump it away and then you end up doing another shopping. So, which is very, very, you can imagine you buying zero to three months and your baby has outgrown within a month or two. That means you're thinking of like, oh, I need to do another shopping for the baby. But when you buy something from maybe three to six months, six to nine months, you know, that there's a gap for you, you know, you still have enough time, you know, before you think of doing another shopping for the baby. That is one thing. And then in terms of the outfit that I'm talking about, the reason why I said, okay, you get maybe few outfits, which is like maybe three as for me. Because one thing is that when you're go coming back home from the hospital, you know, even you're going to put on the bodysuit. Depends on you, how you want your baby to come home. But as for me, I'm okay with my daughter, my baby coming home. With a bodysuit, you know, with a hat on and a jacket or so, to something, you know, to keep the baby warm as well. Depends on the weather, depends on the season. But at least, you know, 
you need a jacket or card even something to keep the baby on depends on the season because even if it's summertime you still need a light cardigan you know to put on the baby you know in the car seat that you're gonna bring the baby home with so that is it so don't ever like think okay i need to go and shop you know if it's a boy i need to go and buy a lot of good boys outfit if it's a i need to go and buy this no 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 i could remember i buy a lot of because my first child was a girl i ended up buying a lot of ear accessories but at the end of the day she only used few of them few of them even you know uh, on instagram because i had to follow so many stores you know i had to order from so many stores some you know some shops from etisel i had to patronize them you know to buy some nice accessories for my girl but bet you she only used few of them that is what i find out she only used few of them because we don't really go out we're not that an out in person that we said okay we go no so those are my experience i can, I can remember with my first child you know oh yeah. immediately i gone through the early morning sickness things you know i was all over the place shopping going to different stores and shopping but with this one uh, with my second pregnancy it didn't happen you know what i just thought okay i'm gonna give myself time i know what i want to buy i'm not buying anything extra because most of the things my, that my daughter use I still have them at home, you know. I don't need to overdo this. I just need to buy those necessary clothes items, you know, that the baby needs and a few other things. And that is it. I know if you go on social media, you're going to say, oh, you need to buy these, you need to buy them. You need to buy various toys. You need to buy this lightning. You need to buy this. I even, you know, it even got to a stage, you know, I got, I remember, yeah, I got a camera as well, like a video recording that when in, I'm in the bedroom, I can monitor the baby. I can hear when the baby sounds and, and all sort of things. To be honest with you, I only use this for one week because I end up having my baby beside me. I sleep with my baby, so I don't really, and the one week I used it was when the time my daughter starts sleeping in the court and I just thought, okay, I need to have it. But it got to a stage. We end up sleeping again together because she wants to be with her mom or I and mean, we get used to that. So I didn't really use it and it's just old now. Even when I give birth now, I'm going to, the baby's going to be with me. The second child is going to be with me. We're going to be sleeping together. We're going to be staying in the same room together. So there are some things that I really found that they're not really that useful. And another thing that I found that is useful is that I know people will say, okay, oh, you know, for the baby to sleep, you need to, you know, all those um, sounds or, you know, noise. I mean, what was it called? I've forgotten what it called. Um, sleep noise, you know, all those white sounds that they needed. Then you started going out to search for, you know, how to buy things that, you know, maybe some toys that brings out. You don't need that. I could remember with mine. All I use for that is just my phone. I went on my phone and I went on, you know, on Google app and I downloaded, you know, white noise. And there are a lot of them that I downloaded. And then at night, I just play it and it keeps running and it helps a lot. So instead of me buying another gadget, something that will bring the white noise for the baby. So I'm okay with the phone because the phone is right beside me on the table. And my baby is just right in her own cord, just beside me there. And that's it you know but it depends on you that is just my own experience because i found that many things i bought during my first pregnancy honestly it is useless because i overdo it we we all do um, you know we all are guilty of that because it's our first experience we want to have everything done the only thing i can tell you that i found that is essential for you to buy you know even if you're a first-time mom and you just want to manage your budget is that as long as you have your cot wherever your baby is going to sleep it depends on you on your space you have that you have all the necessary you know sleep me you know clothing like sleep suit body suit art socks you know all sort of things like that and that is number two for me and you have a rocker i found that rocker is very very essential because you might be doing something in the kitchen you might want to do something you can easily put the baby in the rocker 
you know put the tv on and you know the baby is watching it or you know even there are some rockers with music and toys you know the baby might be dangling and playing with that so that you will feel calm that okay the baby is on the rocker it's safe and you are the bees doing your own thing you understand that is one of the essential thing because it's very very nice even some baby can be in the rocker and they might fall asleep as well because maybe some rocker do swings them swing them around and they love it so i found rocker as an essential and of course your buggy you know we all need buggy you know but you don't have to go extra to buy more expensive buggy because i can remember with my first year we you know because we want to have the best my partner had to order the buggy from germany honestly the buggy you know it's like set of five at the end of the day when the body buggy came the only thing I used throughout my first job with this buggy is the car seat. The car seat, because I can put the car seat in the buggy and just push it around. That is the only, every other thing that was included. It was useless because we didn't really use it. We don't really go out. Aside because from home to car, you know, and maybe I'm going for shopping, you know, we're still going to pack, you know, it's just to bring that out, bring that out from the car seat and just put it out. And that's it. And at the end of the day, we end up moving from the buggy to stroller. So because it got to a state because the buggy we got at the end of the day, it was rubbish because you have to manually turn it around, maneuver. It doesn't have a control. So I end up quickly getting a stroller for her, which we had to upgrade to that. So... For, as for me those are the essential things i found and of course you know and another thing i made mention is about the baby bottles you know the bottles you know there are a lot of brands out there they store me tipping days ma'am days having so many it depends on what you want to buy. I could remember I bought the set of Tommy TV. You know, I bought the one that came with a sterilizer and all sort of things and with a set of like eight bottles. <laughs> to be honest with you, it's just a total waste for me because eight bottles, it's too much. We don't need that. And then you can sterilize the bottle without a sterilizer. You can I'll be sharing with you in a latest video on how I sterilize bottle without a sterilizer. So you can easily do them but i end up buying that and at the end of the day how many bottles do i need at least let me see you need a bottle maybe maximum of three as for me and if you think you need a sterilizer it depends on you you can go for it but i'm sharing my experience what i have done and what i am not repeating again and i thought it's best to shift to someone out there so these are some of the things we go through as a pregnant lady or as a pregnant woman and you know when we have our first pregnancy we want to have everything we want to do everything right we want to be sure that if we are right or no but at the end of the day there are some things we end up saying i shouldn't have done that i shouldn't have done that i shouldn't have done that oh that's total waste no that's total that that's total that so that is the way it all went for me but with my second pregnancy it's a total, total, total different story for me. And I'm glad that, you know, I had that experience and so I'm able to share to someone out there. And I hope you find this video useful. And if you do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And then, thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I hope you find the video useful. And if you do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I post a video content. Thank you and see you in my next video. Bye.